it's okay, we can just go ahead and start. So today we're going to talk about uh, Tableau and using it to build our BI dashboard. So we have, uh, we actually have a guest that's a uh, batch for Trini, Yuel Fante, here with us. Yuel uh, is uh, working at Adludio as a data analytics, and he's going to show us how some of the use of Tableau and how to create and build dashboard with it and some things. Uh, and he's also going to share some things he learned throughout his work, his career. So uh, just to get the introduction starting, I'm going to talk about what Tableau is. Maybe if you guys are familiar, uh, let's get someone uh, talking and maybe someone could start us off by saying a few things if they know about Tableau and or maybe uh, any other BI tools, if they have used anything before or, or if they have heard it before. So I'm gonna give someone a chance. Okay. Uh, so is that no? Maybe raise your hand if you're not familiar with it. How about that? Okay, let's see who's familiar and not familiar with Tableau before starting our presentation. Okay, two people are not familiar, three people, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess most of us are not familiar with Tableau, so, and it's okay. So we are going to get familiarized today. And so what is Tableau? Tableau is a, a data visualization tool that's used for that, data analytics and business intelligence. Uh, it's uh, it's a, a tool that we use for data analyzing and for business intelligence and we're going to see how uh, we use it and uh, it's used for reporting and analyzing big uh, large number of data and uh, it allows people and organizations to be more data driven and it's a very powerful and fast fast growing data visualization tool and it's mostly used in business intelligence intelligence industries and uh, it helps and simplifying raw data in a very easy, understandable format. So it's very easy to understand and it's very simple to use. And it helps to create data that can be understood by professionals and any level of organization. And it also allows us, allows non-technicals uh, to create and customize the dashboard. So it's a very easy and simple tool to use. And uh, like I said, it's a very fast, uh, tool to use for visualization uh, yeah it allows so uh, what is the use of Tableau so it makes it easier for, to explore and manage our data and it makes it in a fast and dis to make it fast and to be discover discoverable and to share insights that can change the business and the world so it can also help us to, uh, to be more organized and to be data driven so I think this is the same as well. So, so uh, yeah, it's uh, there are different uh, data visualization tools like Power BI, but Tableau is them a lot from the famous. It's a more uh, popular and mostly used tool, and it has a lot of unique and exciting features that makes it one of the most popular tools in the business. And uh, so. Some of the features are, it supports powerful data discovery and exploration that can be e easily uh, used and that can be, that can enable users to answer some questions that are important questions in a very short amount of time. And you don't need any, like I said, you, you can be non-technical and you don't need any prior programming knowledge. Uh, users without any experience can start using it and creating visualization using Tableau. 
Uh, okay, and then another uh, feature is that it can connect to several data sources that uh, some some famous BI tools uh, do not support, and it enables users to create reports by joining and having different features together or blending features together in a data set. So uh, it supports a centralized location where we can manage all our data and publish data sources within an organization. So that is the main feature of uh, Tableau that makes it the most popular one in the market. Uh, so there are different um, products of Tableau and uh, some of, so, so we have uh, the Tableau desktop, which is a paid version and it helps to create reports, dashboards and stories using different charts and graphs. And uh, the dashboards created using the desktop can be shared locally or publicly. And uh, we also have uh, the Tableau server, which is also a paid uh, product. The only free product here is the Tableau public. And we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. So what is, uh, so again, the Tableau server is mainly used uh, in organizations to share workbooks and reports that are created using the disk desktop and it can be shared across the teams and uh, you can ask questions using natural language it's somehow ai driven and uh, yeah and tableau online is also paid and it's a, an analytics platform and it's hosted on the cloud and it, it helps users publish the dashboard and share their discoveries with everyone and you can connect it to the clouds like aws or um, any other aws features and any google analytics and salesforce products and last but not least the tableau public uh, it's a free tool that we can use to build our workbooks and create and they cannot be but they cannot be saved locally and they can be saved on the public cloud which is which which is where anyone can access and view the workbooks that we've created and uh so here anyone can download and access the files you saved on the cloud so not much of a, a security there so it's something that's the downside of uh, tablet public but it's free and uh, it can be used by anyone and we also have Tableau Reader and Mobile, and it's a free, they're also free, and we can use one on our desktop and one on, on our mobile. So this is the main product of Tableau, and uh, we can see, uh, so I think that's it's enough for introduction. Let's go ahead to the UAL and see what he has to share for us. Thank you. Oh, okay, Natanael, is that a question? Just okay. Okay, maybe you can. Just... Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, okay. Uh, and let me share my screen. I'm having a little network issues, but I hope it works fine. So I hope you can see my screen, right? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. So here I'm trying to show you uh, a demo about Tableau. So I'm using Tableau Public, that is a free tool. Uh, here in companies that I work on, uh, we use a paid version of uh, Tableau. So the basic difference is that you can connect your data uh, from your database. Uh, in the point paid version, that's in the free version. For example, here, this is Tableau, uh, the public uh, Tableau. So you can create your account and uh, you can see others' uh, visualizations, how they are doing, and you can also create your own uh, dashboard. So to just uh, see the cool visualizations that you can do with Tableau. So these are made by the public people. 
And so here, you can actually create your own, uh, you can create your own dashboard. So, so here in my profile, uh, you can just create the visualization, then to directly uh, ask you to connect your data. So this is where it's different from the paid one. So in paid one, you can actually connect to your database so that when your data is changing, your dashboard will also change live. But here you have to upload it from your computer or there are actually a few connectors with all data and there is Google Drive. So if uh, your sheets are in Google Drive, you can actually connect to that. So I'm using Google, Google Drive for here. So, oh, sorry. Just for this demo purpose, I downloaded uh, basic sales data from Kaggle to just show the demonstration. So it's called. Yeah, so here now my table is loaded here, so you can see it in the list. You can actually add more you know, Google Sheets and so that you can connect uh, not on one sheet, but you can actually connect more uh, CC files or Excel files. Uh, has somebody asked me a question? Okay, yes. Yes, I, I have a question. I'm seeing that you are using a, a sheet. But what if we want to connect our Postgres to Tableau? So in Tableau, uh, for a free version, you can't connect that. You have to pay for it. You have to pay for it. For here, I'm using just a free version. So in free version, that's not allowed. That's not the case to connect your Postgres to Tableau. So the only thing you can do is you can actually download the tables, the sheets that is in the Postgres table, and you can use that. So, uh, if I if I if I understand, it's like this week we can use it to connect our Postgres database. What we do is to is to download. A Uh, yes. Okay. So if you want, for example, if in your database, if you have more tables, you can download all those tables as a CSV or an Excel sheet, and you can add it here. Uh, so now you can see it a bit now. Actually, if you can, if you have a script that will change your uh, Google sheet, then you have, you can have a live data in your dashboard, but that's uh, for another topic. So I'll create a simple workbook sheet so that I could start doing my dashboard. So yeah, one of the things for a free version is also it will take some time to load your data. Uh, yeah, fortunately, just win. So here you can see uh, your tables. So this is this are the table that I'm using. So you have it has around up to Q column. Some of them are uh, uh, some of them are numeric columns and some of them are not numeric. And so here it is defined as here. So automatically Tableau knows that if the column is date, it will automatically change that to a date. If that's not the case, you can actually right click on it and you can actually uh, change the data type to whatever you want here. But normally it, it knows what the data type is and it will automatically configure that for you. So here on a CT you have, so the blue ones are actually the uh, non-numeric data points and uh, this uh, blue ones or the greens are, I don't know if you tell the colors from each side, but yeah. So I want to, for example, it's just Tableau is basically a drag and drop uh, kind of quite simple to use. So for example, I want to see uh, how many branches I have. So I will just again, I'll add it to in rows or columns, whatever I want. So let me add it in rows. So you have 
three branches, branch A, branch B, and branch C. And I want to see how much of, uh, for example, the total amount of sales leads us. So you can actually add it here, or you can actually add the columns. So it will aggregate all that for you, and it will show you how those numbers look like. And you can also have uh, different kinds of uh, so for you. Uh, okay, uh, Yuri, I think you're breaking up. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what you can do to solve that, but I think your audio is not audible. If you can hear me. Okay, I think he's having connection issues. Maybe let's give him a moment. Uh, let's see if they fix it. And... Okay. Let's just uh, wait a moment. Ah, sorry, guys. I need to do a bit rough today. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Gideon, you ready to hand? Yes, uh, I had a question. Uh, is there a way to export all the aggregations and so on in a, in a code format? Uh, I mean, what do you mean by a code format? Uh, so, Tableau is a drag and drop platform. So, when you look, for example, when you drag and drop different fields in the column in the rows, it, it aggregates and displays the output, right? So is there a way yes. to take to take uh, what it's doing in the background and like export it in, in, in maybe a Python script format? Does it have that option? Mm -hmm. Not that. That's not the option, but let me load my page. For example, here, yeah, I converted to a pie chart. Uh, let me just go back. And... So here, for example, when I just drag the some total, it's act automatically the subset. Yeah, yes, if I do want the sum, I can have the average, the median, all the listing returns, and some of the features. Oh, my bad. Okay. So, Yes. Okay. Can I see the tablet picture? Yeah. 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 Okay. So when I just got the sum total uh, to aggregate for the branch, it automatically uh, sends uh, the values. But if I don't want that, I can actually. Uh, measure the average values and then so you have some of them and if you want also your own calculation you can actually also create an analysis tab you can actually create your uh, calculated values and here uh, tab will have many aggregation formats and you can actually apply uh, your uh, exp expressions here and it will create that for you 
Uh, but for now, I just went for the sum and uh, I went that to see it in the pie chart. So it shows me that. So I can add another sheet and just let's say, for example, I want to see, uh, I want to see the gross income uh, per branch. You can actually also see that. But yeah, let's make it a uh, date format for this. So I want to that how it looks like on daily basis. So when you just pull it will automatically next year, but there is a plus sign here, then can apply that. It's in quarterly breakdown and now in an monthly basis. So the data is only for uh, 2019, so we don't have we have only so I want to use this as a day. So here you can see how the sales, the gross income looks like uh, in, in time series format. Uh, so I want to see this as a time series format. So we have the continuous profit. So here, so what basically means is you can't actually see it in the table how it looks like. But in Tableau, it's basically the dashboard means this. You can actually see the data visually so that you can know, for example, what the picks are, what the loss are, and you can ask your questions and create an insight and an explanation for the business. So that's basically the business intelligence means. And here I can also add another sheet and let's say I want to see how the, okay, let's explore the gender of it. How much of the rating is happening? Oh, that's equal. Is just went to another thing. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so instantly you can see how much of the quantity is consumed. So you can add more of sheets. Then here to to create your dashboard, uh, apart from your plus sheets, you can actually create a dashboard, new dashboard, and you create that. So here, this is this will be your dashboard. You can actually determine the size. If it's a size, let's go with automatic, so it will fit all of the screens. And so I have those three sheets ready for here. So just can pull that and can put it here. And no, this is not actually very descriptive. So let's add, uh, let's make it entire group. And also we can uh, add the sign and the percentage of it. So the sum total of it. So let's have, let's have it here. And I want it in percentage format, so Tableau is uh, good at this. So I want the percentile, uh, not actually add a quick calculation, then percent of total. So yeah, I can see how much the percentage of each of those cells means, and you can bring in your sheet here. And so in your dashboard, you have that. So you can actually uh, do it by yourself and it's really simple. Uh, once you get used to it, it's really very simple. And I want this sheet to be here. Uh, so uh, I'm sorry guys, it's not really good, cool dashboard, but yeah, you know what it looks like. That's what I want to show you. So, and for male and female, you can actually also change uh, Color of it, so you could actually control and put it in color. So it's going to color assign different colors, and yeah, can I be here? Uh, one other one thing that I wanted to show you. Yeah, also if you want to actually make it uh, your tablet make it functional, you can actually add uh, selectors here. So let's say in gender, I want uh, to filter that by city, let's say, so it will be like kind of in city and have three cities and select it all. And now right click on it and uh, show filter. So you have the filter here. So in your dashboard, um, let's reload this again and let's see how it looks like. So yeah, now we have the selector. 
see how this will affect the city. And let's make it a drop down. So just like that, you can also add, for example, here I want to add uh, the date range on a filter to see how that's and yeah, that works for me. And update. And, uh, it's a slider graph. So basically, you can have fast analytics on Tableau because it's really uh, simple. Share this filter and close. So dashboard and let's see that this happening. So now you have also uh, a selector. And I want to apply that in all of my dashboard. So assume we have, I want to see the rest of the data in this filter. You can apply this to all of the data sources. Then now, uh, if you just slide the date range to select how much of that is, all of the, your dashboard will automatically change and show you how it looks like with that date. Also, I want to select uh, the city to filter that also. So let's say that apply this all of the data sources. So yeah, you can actually select. So if you didn't select anything, all of the dashboard becomes zero. So I want only to see the first city. So on this city, now I can instantly see that all of uh, our, what is that color? color? It is in branch B. So branch B is located in this city and we have the uh, age range selected here. So yeah, this is not really crude uh, dashboard. I understand that it can actually create really an un interesting insights uh, so that you can have your dashboard and it's functional. And so now, for example, it says the sales team or the, the management team or the board team can actually use this dash dashboard without any technical knowledge. They can actually slide, can actually select, and they can make their own adjustment to the data and they can instantly visualize it. Uh, if you have any questions. Okay, thank you, Yoel, for that wonderful presentation and demo. Uh, okay, so does anyone have a question? I think this is a great opportunity to ask questions because Yoel is actually working using the source, so he would answer most of your questions if you have any. Thank you, Julia. Uh, how does Tableau deal with uh, missing values? Uh, so in Tableau, we can have uh, some of basic missing tool adjustments, but uh, mostly it is recommended, it's the best practice to just handle your missing values and uh, in your data pipeline, for example, before you load it just into your database. Uh, but yeah, you can actually filter all those missing values in your dashboard. I don't think I have anything about in my data, but you can you can do that. Okay, thank you. As a suggestion, also this is actually a tableau for meeting, but you can also use Google Data Studio. It's also another uh, another very simple and uh, a free tool that Google provides. So you can actually. Just like Tableau, that's also a drag and drop tool. You can, pro, you can also use uh, Google Data Studio as an, an alternative for Tableau. Um, yeah, any other questions? Okay, thank you, Yui. I think we don't have any more questions. Thank you for your time and thank you for your demo. Um, I guess we let's end today's session here. We don't have any more questions.